When Trump was first campaigning for the presidency back in 2016, he started referring to the media as the enemy of the people. Now, liberals and journalist types acted like Trump characterizing the media as the enemy of the people was an affront to democracy, deeply dangerous, and a reflection of his authoritarian tendencies. But more and more each day, it does appear that this seemingly outrageous and inflammatory characterization is actually true. Take a look at the Kyle Rittenhouse situation that is unfolding as we speak. The shooting that happened in Kenosha, where Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense as he was being chased down by an angry mob, immediately was characterized by the media as a white supremacist going on a killing spree. None of that is true. It's too bad for the legacy media that we now have cell phones everywhere capturing footage with which we can piece together the exact timeline of events that maybe some unknowns, but we know enough to know that Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong and acted in self-defense. And so now we actually have Lynn Wood, who is the attorney from the Fight Back Foundation who helped Nick Sandman take millions of dollars from CNN. He will now be defending Kyle Rittenhouse and... I have to say that every single day, it does seem that Trump's characterization of the media as the enemy of the people seems more and more accurate. Because while it is important in a democracy to have an unbiased and fair media hold power to account, what we have now instead is nothing of the sort. What we have is actually a media that has become a power and a force in itself, defaming people as they please and almost always along ideological lines. And so this cannot be allowed to continue, and the media as it's currently constituted absolutely is the enemy of the people. They regularly share disinformation, they slant all of the news and all of the events that unfold using an ideological lens, and the information that you're getting, you almost know for sure that it has no correlation to the truth whatsoever. And so the situation with Kyle Rittenhouse is yet another example. Now, it's bad enough to have a public that will try someone in the court of public opinion. What we should have is a media that searches for, gathers, and investigates the facts to act as a sort of stopgap and a tempering of public opinion, which can run out of control. And then in addition to that, their job should be to hold power to account by grilling those in power with questions, being critical, etc., but the media, as it currently functions, doesn't do any of those things. Instead, what they do is they find someone that they consider to be the enemy for ideological reasons, and then they begin to spread disinformation. And so Trump's labeling of the media as the enemy of the people, where is the lie? 